Hello everyone. So let's start with number systems. So number systems is one of the easiest chapter in the GRE exam. But oftentimes it can get really difficult if we are not clear with the basics or if there are things we don't practice. So the most important part of the GRE is not just getting the answer, getting the answer in one minute. So that becomes really challenging. So with saying that, uh, I would like to start with some basics of the number system. So first thing which I will say, integers. So I hope we are all familiar with the integers, but what are the integers? So I will say any whole numbers. In GRE, any whole numbers we consider as integers. So integer starts from 0, 1, 2, 3, and it goes up to infinity. Similarly, all the negative numbers as well goes until integer, till minus infinity. Second most important thing is fractions or floating numbers. What are the floating numbers? Any numbers which are fractions like 1.5 is a fraction. So how, what is the other way of writing the, the 1.5 is 3 divided by 2. Okay. 4.08 minus 5 by 2 minus 8.2 or 8 divided by 3 so any such numbers are we can call it as like floating numbers because see they are floating on each other or they are like fractions so negative and positive we are not worried about that so anything is called floating numbers so now as we understand what is integers and what is floating numbers I will move forward with the third concept which is again easier what is even numbers so in its simplest for form any number which is divisible by 2 and remainder is 0 let's take example so let's consider 10 which is divided by 2 so 2 5 is a 10 so remainder is 0 if remainder is 0 then that makes 10 as even numbers so what are the even numbers so 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 and etc it goes till infinity so any numbers which are divisible by 2 and then remainder is 0 uh, the fourth concept will be odd numbers so what are the odd numbers so here we saw divisible by 2 so if any number any number is divisible by 2 and remainder is equal to 1 there will be remainder as 1 or there will be which is not equal to 0 we can say let's do not equal to 0 for this case let's move this up example let's take number 15 divided by 2 so now when we divide 2 by 15 so we can see 2 7 the 14 so the remainder is 1 so I will say 15 is not actually divisible by 2 or when we perform the division there will be always remainder 1. Hmm? 
is equal to 1. So in that case, odd number becomes, I will say, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, etc. So now the fifth basic of the number system, which uh, I will say is one of the most important, which is prime numbers. So what are the prime numbers? So by definition, any number which is divisible by one and itself. So any number which is divisible by one and itself, what that means? So first we have to understand, we, we know all the numbers like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. Let's consider up to 11 only for now. So one we will not consider as a prime number for now, but if we uh, consider the number two, so 2 is divisible by 1 and by itself. There is no number in between 1 and 2. So 2 is divisible by itself and 1. So 2 is the prime number. What about 3? Yes, 3 is divisible by 1 and itself. So 3 is a prime number. What about 4? 4 is divisible by 1. And at the same time, 4 is divisible by 2 as well. And 4 is divisible to itself. So 4 cannot be a prime number. Let's check 5. So 5 is divisible by 1 and then itself. So 5 is the one of the prime numbers. Similarly, 7, 8 is not a prime number. 9 is not a prime number. 10 is not a prime number. And 11. See, the 11 is also divisible by 1. And it's not divisible by any numbers in between. So it's again a prime number. If we go beyond 12 and 13, so 12 is again divisible by 2, 4, 6. So yeah, it's not a prime number. But 13 is again divisible by divisible by itself. So it's a prime number. So here we can even uh, do some google search to check all the prime numbers it's always good to know uh, prime numbers from 1 to 100 that will even becomes easier while we solve the questions now let's go to google and let's try to find what are the prime numbers understanding the prime numbers for 1 to 100 and knowing them it's the one of the best thing before we start solving uh, problems from the chapter number systems so let's just open uh, this specific uh, website any website can give you the all the information regarding prime numbers but if we see here uh, they have shown the prime numbers up to 100 so we can see 2 3 5 7 11 13 17 19 23 29 31 so this all are the prime numbers so prime numbers also uh, performs very important uh, part in research and development a lot of researchers are working on finding the biggest prime number so let's check the biggest prime number known look at this the biggest prime number known if we try to read about the so as of November 2022 and the value is 2 raised to 82 million five hundred thousand eighty nine nine thirty three minus 1 that is the biggest prime number how many digits are there in the prime number so 24 million 862,048 digits are there in the prime number so if we look at this chart so values for prime number has been 
uh, changing how people identify different prime numbers and it's going up and up there is even a python program which uh, people use to find the prime number the vertical scale is logarithmic for prime number that's what they are trying to suggest so yeah but uh, let's see we don't need to know all these prime numbers we just need to know and uh, have some idea about prime numbers up to 100 so after the fifth basic i would like to move on the further basic so consider the sixth one so there are like all different numbers there are like even numbers there are odd numbers there are integers there are positive integers there are negative integers so all this holds all different rules and uh, i will attach one of the we call it as a cheat sheet which you can use in identifying and using that to perform your operations faster so one of the uh, one of the trick which i would like to mention here is any odd number when we divide by even number then it cannot be integer let's take the example let's take the example of 15 which is odd and then we will uh, divide that by even number less 2 so 2 7 the 14 then we will have one remainder and then become 10 so 2 5 the 10 so which will become 7.5 so whatever we are saying it's the claim is correct and you can try all multiple numbers for that similarly there is a one more thing which we have to remember when we uh, perform the multiplication so any integer when we multiply by integer the answer should be integer and it cannot be fraction it cannot be fraction so this is the one of the rule this one we will even use it in our uh, upcoming uh, sums so i will share the complete uh, solution or i will say the cheat sheet for this and i would like you to look at it thank you